is python compiled or interpreted language to save you a few minutes the answer is straightforward which is both so python is compiled as well as interpreted language but hold on when you read some books or when you see some articles on internet they refer python as a interpreted language why so and why i'm saying it is both let's find out in this video Welcome back aliens, my name is Navin Vendi and let's see why Python is both compiled and interpreted language. So first, let's find out what is a compiler or when do you say a language is a compiled language. Now think about this programming language as well. We have so many programming languages like we have C, we have C++, Python, Java. Now when it comes to C and C++, they are compiled languages, right? Because you as a programmer, you write a C program, right? You write a C code. Now these are high level languages which simply means your machine cannot understand these languages because by default computer works only on machine language which is binary format basically. So that means when you write a code which is in C language you have to convert that code into a machine language and that's where compiler comes into picture. So your C code gets compiled to give you the machine code. Now same goes for other languages as well. So that's why we say it's a compiled language. Now compiler don't just have a way of converting a higher level language into machine language. Sometimes you also convert a language from A to B. Now A can be any language and B can be any language provided there's a way to convert that. So a compiler can convert any language from any language. So you cannot simply say from high to low. It can be from high to high as well. That's the basic term which we use compiler. Right now, basically, when you work with Python, we have a different way of working. The moment you work with Python file, it first gets compiled. You heard me right, it first gets compiled to give you a byte code. Okay, and that byte code will be interpreted in a machine language. And who does that? It's the special virtual machine. But hold on, why so complex process? So, what exactly this interpreted means? So, basically, interpreted languages mean, simply means you have a set of instructions and your interpreter will read each and every line one by one so line one line two line three line four line five and then it will start executing everything line by line and that's why it is called interpreted language so now what happens is your byte code is interpreted but then why we have to make it so complex of having compilation first and then going for interpretation for one reason we use a concept of byte code to achieve portability right now what is portability here so we have this term right which is platform independence that you can write code once and you can run on different platform example as your machine changes your cpu architecture also changes right so if you are writing a code for one machine and if you're compiling it to get a binary file or a native code it may not work on some other machines because machine may have a different cpu architecture and to solve this problem we have a concept of virtual machine now in this virtual machine what you run is a byte code okay and this byte code will run on that virtual machine and that will convert into native code that simply means any machine or doesn't matter matter what's your CPU architecture using. So if your machine has a VM software or the virtual machine software, you're good to go. Uh, the moment I say virtual machine, are you thinking about VMware or something? Uh, not exactly. We are not trying to copy a uh, physical hardware. So this virtual machine which I'm talking about is very specific to the languages. Example, for Python, we have PVM. The same concept is there in Java as well, which is a JVM. So we have virtual machine in Java, which is JVM. And for Python, we use PVM. Of course, right on JVM, we can run other languages as well, like Scala, Groovy, Kotlin. But on PVM, we can run Python codes. So basically, you write a Python code which gets compiled, which is the byte code, and that byte code will be interpreted on your PVM to give you the actual output. Then the question arises: when you were running Python, you never did that, because if you are coming from Java background by any chance, in Java we have this concept, right? So first you have to compile the code by writing Java C, and then you have to run the file using Java command. In Python, we don't do that, right? We simply say Python and then we mention the file name. We are not doing compilation, right? And that's the beauty of Python. Python says, hey programmer, you don't have to worry about compilation. I will take care of that. You simply say Python and the file name. I will compile it. I will give you bytecode and then that bytecode will run on your PVM. 
Okay, what about interactive shell? So normally when we use REPL, so we directly come into the commands, right? We simply say print hello. Is it creating bytecode as well? Yes. So behind the scene, whatever you do on Python, it creates a bytecode first and that bytecode gets run on PVM. So PVM is very important in terms of, let's say, if you want to do performance tuning later, if you want to understand how exactly everything is working behind the scene. So there's one more thing which we have to address here and which is C Python. Oh, that's weird, right? What is this C Python? What if I say whatever we have learned in the Python series, everything was about C Python, right? But we have never mentioned that because normally we always talk about Python language, right? We never talk about the implementation. What if I say Python is just a language set of rules and conventions? The actual implementation which we are using here is C Python, okay? So whatever we have learned is actually C Python. We have some other implementation as well for Python. So you can imagine Python as a concept and then we have other implementations. Example, you know, if you want to eat any dish, let's say if you want to eat dosa. So we have a concept in mind, right? So this is how dosa looks like. But then if you go to different restaurants they have a different way of serving it you know we have different versions of dosa available in the same way for python is a language and then we have different implementation we have c python we have pypy and then we also have uh, iron python and then we have jython so basically you know when you talk about c python it is implemented in c language so the internal working is happening with c language on the other hand when you say jython which is java somewhere with java right so the implementation is done using java language and then we have the .NET version of it which is Iron Python, which is the dot implementation of it. So there is one language and we have different implementations. So in general, the widely used implementation is C Python. But I would also suggest you to have a look on this other stuff as well. So just to give you a summary, whatever we have discussed till now, what is Python? It's both, it's a compiled and interpreted language, okay? So even if you are not compiling it, behind the scene it's happening. So behind the scene, it is getting compiled. So yeah, that's it from this video. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know in the comment section and do subscribe for further videos.